Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, we are presenting on the Joint Commission today. Um, to start with, what does accreditation mean? Um, accreditation is the process is a process of review that healthcare organizations participate in to demonstrate the ability to meet predetermined criteria and standards of accreditation established by a professional accrediting agency, such, um, such as the Joint Commission. Okay, and then when was it founded, by whom, and for what purpose? Doc Dr. Ernest Codman proposed the end result system of hospital standardization. The American College of Surgeons was founded with the goal of standardization in mind. In 1951, the American College of Surgeons went on to form the Joint Commission with the help of the American College of Physicians, the American Hospital Association, the American Medical Association, and the Canadian Medical Association. The American College of Surgeons then transferred the hospital standardization to the Joint Commission. The first hospital accreditation was offered in January 1953. The Joint Commission is a not-for-profit organization whose primary purpose is to provide voluntary accreditation. Okay, what is the significance of the word joint? A definition of the word joint is shared, held, or made by two or more people, parties, or organizations together. The Joint Commission was founded by several professional healthcare groups with the united purpose to create a system for hospital standardization. These organizations work together to help establish quality in healthcare. So I was in charge of what kinds of organizations are eligible for Joint Commission accreditation. And we have on here hospitals, doctors, offices, nursing homes, office-based surgery centers, behavioral health treatment facilities, providers of home, health, of home care services, laboratories, and opiate treatment programs. Uh, the Joint Commission accreditation can be earned by many types of healthcare organizations. Um, and those listed are just a few. Um, laboratory, laboratory and opiate treatment programs are eligible, which I had said, and accreditation is re-evaluated every three years for these facilities, uh, with the exception of labs, which undergoes the process every two years. And the next part is who competes with the Joint Commission? The Joint Commission evaluates and accredits more than 16,000 U.S. healthcare organizations and conducts unannounced surveys at randomly selected hospitals every year. However, here are a few other organizations that also participate in accreditation. So first off, we have the ISO, which is the International Organization for Standardization, which accredits businesses, and this includes hospitals. Um, but their surveys are focused more on the quality of business practices than on clinical um, practices. Uh, the ASCA, the Ambulatory Surgery Center Association, accredits ACSs, sharing this role with the Joint Commission. And the AAASF, American Association for Accreditation of Ambulatory Surgery Facilities, um, the ACHA, which is the Accreditation Commission for Healthcare, um, AAAHC, American Healthcare, um, excuse me, American Association for Ambulatory Healthcare and the AOA American Osteopathic. The DMV, which is on the bottom there, well, not the very bottom, but close, is um, a CMS-approved accreditation program that's based in Oslo, Norway. Um, this organization has 27 hospitals in 22 states that are participating currently in its accreditation program, and the HFAP has held CMS deeming authority for more than 30 years, and it currently accredits about 220 hospitals in the United States. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to put that the Joint Commission also has um, a well-established identity. Obviously, this is the one that most people are familiar with and most hospitals uh, choose to go through the accreditation process with. Um, and in my research, I found numbers that ranged anywhere from 77% to 91%, and I chose to highlight the 82 because that was what was found in our textbook.
All right, so why would a hospital choose to be accredited by an organization other than the Joint Commission? Um, the Joint Commission survey standards are the gold standard for accreditation and as such are very stringent. Hospitals might choose to be accredited by an organization other than the JCAHO for a number of reasons, such as if the organization is less rigorous, less clinically focused, uh, or less expensive. What is the meaning of the term deem status? Who gives it and to whom is it given? Deem status means that since the Joint Commission standards exceed those of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, uh, or CMS, the federal government deems JCAHO accredited facilities to automatically qualify for CMS certification. Explain the process and frequency of Joint Commission surveys. Joint Commission surveys are conducted at least once every 39 months. These unannounced surveys are conducted by experts in healthcare, such as doctors, nurses, and hospital administrators who are certified in accrediting. During the survey, the organization's standards of compliance are evaluated. There are over 250 standards established by the JCAHO that focus on safety and healthcare quality. These areas of focus include infection control, medication management, quality assurance, patients' rights, prevention of medical errors, and qualification and competency of medical professionals. Awesome. Great work. Um, very well studied. Um, I think the Joint Commission is a really important topic for you guys. And I mean, the, the term deem status that you just spoke about is really important for people to understand. And it might be a quiz question, hint, hint, wink, wink, coming up. So, um, really important to understand that. Um, but great work. You covered the topic well. Um, let me just ask each of you a question really quick. We'll start with Heather. Um, and then just work to uh, go over to Corey and then I'll ask Lisa. Um, but the question is, what was the most interesting thing you learned as you were studying the, about the Joint Commission? Um, the most interesting thing. Uh, there was a lot of uh, interesting things. The thing that I wasn't aware of um, was that they uh, actually accredited uh, facilities like you know drug rehab facilities and psychiatric hospitals and things like that. Um, so I think that was interesting to me because I thought, you know, it's not just for hospitals and surgery centers, but um, basically almost any medical facility can um, can get receive that recognition and accreditation. Great, thank you. Great, hey, Corey. Okay. Um, what I found most interesting was the history behind it, how many different organizations worked together to um, establish these standardizations for the hospitals. Um, it just showed that from a wide variety of healthcare organizations, they all had a say in what they felt was the best standard for hospital care. Great, thank you. All right, Lisa. Um, I, everything was interesting to me on this because I, did, I had heard, you know, about the Joint Commission, but I didn't really know a whole lot about what it was. Um, so just, um, it was interesting to learn about the different uh, categories that they go over when they do the surveys at the hospitals in order for them to be able to be accredited. And it, it sounds like it's a very thorough uh, thing that they do that made me have a lot of confidence in the hospitals. Um, like I know there's some local hospitals here that are joint, you know, commission accredited, and it just gives you a little more confidence, you know, going to those hospitals, knowing that they have gone through these points and made sure that they're on, you know, their standards are high in those areas. Great. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, going to a hospital that we know is joint commission 
cert or accredited, they have that gold standard, right? I mean, it's a super strenuous process. Working at a hospital um, that's Joint Commission certified or accredited, they it's <laughs> it's funny that not it's not funny, but it's it's interesting to see how intense preparations are for it. Like you mentioned, you, it takes it needs to the certification, the the resurvey needs to occur within thirty nine months, and um, I mean, they, there's whole departments that are set up in these hospitals to make sure that the department, the hospital is ready for when that survey comes around because it's so important. I mean, Intermountain Healthcare, where I work, has a an, an whole um, whole department across the system that's for internal auditing and going around and seeing, are you um, meeting the standards? And they do these mock joint commission surveys just to make sure that we're up to standard everywhere. Um, because it was so important. So great work. Um, you guys covered everything well, like I mentioned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the broadcast, but stay on the line, and then I'll ask, uh, I'll just ask you a couple questions.